All right, thanks for watching. And today I want to do something unbelievable that my friend Shoseto told me. And it's just really, really cool. And by the way, if my friend Sho ever made a YouTube channel, I would force him to call it Dr. Sho's Show. <laughs> but anyway, so the thing he told me about was a really cool way of calculating the sum of squares. So if you know this formula, it's n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6. And usually they do it with induction. But it turns out there's a very easy way of actually getting this formula. So let me tell you about it. And you might not believe me, but it is true. Consider three triangles. You're like, I am. You're such a tease. Okay, but don't worry, just wait for it. On the first triangle, you start with one and then just go down like this. One, two, three, up to n, and all the rows are the same. So one, 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 two, two, three, 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 and then, and then, right? On the other hand, you do the same thing, but you start here. So one, two, two. Three, 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 da, 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 n, 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 n. So you start here, then you start here, and lastly you start at the other corner. One, two, two, three, 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 da, 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 da. <laughs> anyway, so n, 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 n. Okay. Now, what is the total sum in each triangle? Total sum. So it just matters. It just follows from calculating this total sum uh, in um, in a different way, in two different ways. So total sum in each triangle. What is it? Look, in each triangle you have one, and then two plus two, and then three plus three plus three, and then da da da, n plus n plus n, n times. So, which is, if you want, 1 squared plus 2 times 2, which is 2 squared, plus 3 times 3, which is 3 squared, plus dot dot dot, plus n squared. Which is precisely what we want. The sum from 1 to n of i squared. And in particular, what this means is really the total sum in total is just 3 times the sum. The total three times the sum from one to n of i squared. On the other hand, consider summing each term, by which I mean one plus n plus n. That sum would be at two n plus one. n plus 1. And let's see what happens here. So here we have 2. Let's say 2. This term, remember, is like 1 less. So n minus 1. 2 times n minus 1 plus n. If you sum that up, oh, what a surprise. You get 2n plus 1. And same thing here. You have n minus 1. If you sum this here, 2 plus n plus n minus 1 you get 2n plus 1. And in fact, it turns out this is true for every term. 2n plus 1, 2n plus 1. And if you don't believe me, let me show you. So what is the ij term in each thing? So each triangle is different. So and by ij term, I mean, for example, the 3 comma second term is the term in the third row and the second entry of that. So the j might depend on i, which is OK, though. OK, how can we find the entry in the, the ij entry in each triangle? Notice for the first triangle, it just matters on which row we are. So on row uh, 1, we have all the entries 1. In particular, the jth entry for any j is 1. 
In row two, all the values are two, so the two comma jth entry is still two. And also here in row three, the three comma jth entry is three. So in row i, the i jth entry is i. So first of all, we have this. Now, for this one, it's slightly more complicated because notice what we have here is in the first row, let's say row i, the first entry is n, which is really, you know, uh, what is it? Um, n minus 1 plus 1 in the second row. The first entry is basically n minus 2 plus the 1, which is n minus 1. But the second entry is n minus 2 plus 2. So it depends on the row and the column. And in general, you see um, what we have, we have n minus 1, which is 1 less than the row. So n minus uh, i minus 1. But then you have to add whichever column you're at. So here, for example, in the third row, we have um, n minus 3. And then the first one it becomes n minus 2. So I want to say, sorry, um, it's n minus i. So n minus 3, the first one becomes n minus 3 plus 1. The second term becomes n minus 3 plus 2. Up to the third term becomes n minus 3 plus 3. So in, in general, we have n minus i plus j. So this gives us the second triangle. And lastly, for the third triangle, I think it doesn't matter which row we are in, because look, in the first row, well, the first entry is n minus 1 plus 1, which is the first entry. In the second one, again, it doesn't matter which row we're at, it just matters the column, so we have n minus 1 plus 1, here n minus 2 plus 1, etc., etc. So the third one would be n minus j plus 1. And notice if you add those up, the i's cancel out, the j's cancel out, and you have 2n plus 1. So indeed, uh, we have each term, so each term in each triangle sums up to 2n plus 1. So how many terms we have? We have, well, 2n plus 1, so total is also 2n plus 1. And then let's see how many terms are there. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 up to n. So in other words, the sum from 1 up to n, which is 2n plus 1 times the sum from 1 up to n of i. So what do we have? The total, which is the 3 times the sum that we want, equals to 2n plus 1 times the sum of i's. So indeed, we then get that 3 times the sum of i squares equals 2n plus 1 times the sum of i. And therefore, the sum of i squares from 1 to n is 2n plus 1 over 3 times the sum of i. But the sum of the integers, and I want to show it at the end, is simply 2n plus 1 over 3 and then n times n plus 1 over 2. And if you just multiply all those things, you get precisely what you want. n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6. How cool is that? No induction required. It just requires counting elements in three triangles. So this is so cool. And thank you, Sho. And in case you're wondering where this formula comes from, very quick proof. On the one hand, you consider the sum from 1 plus n. On the other hand, you reverse this. So n times plus n minus 1 up to 1. If you add those up, you get 2s. And then you get n plus 1. 
And it turns out all the other terms become n plus 1. How many terms are there? n of them. So n times n plus 1. So the sum that we want is n times n plus 1 over 2. All right, so I hope you like this sum extravaganza. And I hope you had an awesome time. So if you want to see this and more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.